to go in and start playing rhythm or lead guitar. You can pick a bass line, you can pick a drum loop, and you can just kind of start playing. I'm going to slow my tempo down. In the game, in the music studio, you can kind of pick any tempo, but here in the Wizard, we only give you like three to choose from just to kind of make it simple for people. So I'm going to pick this, this bass line. I'm feeling the best. All right, create a new song. All right. So you see, like, everybody's instrument lights up. So at any point in time, if somebody hops over here and grabs the bass guitar, they can really can play anything. They can play the melody, which is more like keyboards. They can play the drums, they can play the bass, the lead, um, whatever they want. I'm going to do a little one-man band here. So I'm going to pick drums, I'm going to pick drum machine, I'm going to go in and, and change my kit. We have a lot of different kits. There will there'll probably be more than this when we ship the game. Um, everything from... Commodore 64 kind of synth, synth samples, um, really heavy acoustic rock kits to like, you know, weird toys that I've happened to sample um, that are going in the game. So lots of different kind of sounds to create a really unique variety. It's not just all rock kits, a lot of the weird electronic kits and such. Um, rolling, you know, not rolling. Analog drum machines from the early 80s. Uh, lots of different things there, so. I'll pick modern rock because that's just more traditional. And loops, these are like different MIDI loops. I can assign a bunch of different loops to every, every button. So I'll pick, um, I'll just pick the alternative loop set. And I'll go in and just start, let's just start recording. With the drum machine, essentially everything's on a clock, right? So these are five different drum loops I can play. They're all on a clock. So every time I play a new drum loop, it doesn't just replay the loop. It picks up exactly where in that like four bar section, if it's on the third bar of four bars, it's gonna pick up and it's gonna basically crossfade to the next loop. So anytime I, I can transform by turning the button on or off so I can start and stop the, the beat and get all funky with it. <clears throat> this slider um, has a lot of different functions. You can play the beat. You can basically, effectively kill the kill all symbols. Now I'll kill the snare. And that's just one of the five loops up here. Then I can add on things like these other, these other three kind of zones down here do like um, 16th note. Currently they're doing 16th note kick drums, snares, and toms. So <clears throat> that's fun to play with. And then this thing does the pitch. So I can just crank the pitch down like, like you know, 12 semitones or something. That's up, down. 
put on a funky different type of loop. I'm kind of a, a, an electro head, so. So you can get pretty funky with the thing. <laughs> We've got a lot of other cool stuff that's not in this build, but that went in last night, like the velocity. You have velocity sensitivity on the drums. When you're using the drum machine, if you tilt the guitar, it changes the velocity. I wish I could show you, but I'm using last week's burn. But as you tweak, tilt the guitar, it changes the velocity of the sample. We also put a crash on the whammy, so at any point in time, if you want to crash, and so you, can get you can get pretty funky with this thing. Um, we've really been inspired by a lot of like kind of unique controllers for, for MIDI and for creating music. Um, and like part of the YouTube underground like guitar hero phenomenon is people using guitars to, to create music, um, using a variety of different software, Max MSP and some other like kind of um, off the shelf software programs. So that was a big inspiration for us was to like see how that was embraced by the community and then kind of like apply that in to our new technology which is a touch strip we have an accelerometer, which is something cool that nobody else has in their guitars, um, and using that to like inspire people to create music in different ways. Uh, I'll now leave. I, I, you see here, I've, I've kind of like, I'm kind. Of, this is one mode. This is the the like live recording mode, right? So, I've recorded. I did the wizard for the bass, so it made like a four minute long bass track. I don't need the last half because I'm not going to bore you guys. I made about a two minute drum track. I'm going to go in and add something else now. All right, with a lead guitar, or with all guitars, actually, let me, let me pick my effect first. All right, so with the guitars, all right, it's like any of you guys that are guitar players out there or, or even are into music, this is a pod from line six, okay? This is a, a guitar, a real-time guitar effector. It does amplifier and cabinet modeling for guitars. So what that means, if you want to sound like you were in the Beatles band back in the 60s, you could pretty much dial in the right cabinet and amps that they had, and your you know, 2008 guitar could sound like the Beatles. Um, we've taken technology from Line 6. They partnered with us in this game, and we've built it into the game. We've used their real-time DSP effects to put amp and cabinet modeling into Guitar Hero World Tour.